The community is probably re-uploading TikTok content at a higher rate, and believe it or not we got tagged to a growing victim. I don't know what to call her but, it's pretty clear that she could care less about her image, like every other quote creator in the fat unadmiring lowlife wacky underachieving community. Now imagine being a manipulated video creator, approaching 40, being told to put out perverted content by your viewers, what would you think about your life? Well if you're a normal human being, you would probably think, how did I get here and how do I get out of it? You would probably try to find a way out of the chaos. You wouldn't make multiple platforms to get your content out there which would put it in the hands of the perverted viewer who will likely re-upload your property. But today we have a proud creator in the community with a winging at whatever personality, putting out mature fat not admiring content pretty much all over the internet, which ultimately means the community will be illegally re-uploading her property everywhere. The public name brought to us by a viewer is, whatever. Already, I'm feeling ill. Now after one minute of research, you can find her property illegally re-uploaded pretty much everywhere, and apart from Cherry Fixer publicly going by a fake name, which means she clearly doesn't want anyone in the community to know her real name. Which anyone can throw out that it's an attempt to cover her identity because even Cherry Fixer is well aware that telling people over the internet, My boyfriend, I've known him since like elementary school, this actually would have been illegal, but um. Drop, if you guys want to help, um, stuff this birthday belly? Alright, you know what? Who talks like that? Could you imagine publicly talking like that to a group of people, telling everyone around you that if they want to help you fill? Whatever, you get the point. There's nothing normal about talking like that. Still, talking like that, playing a part in the community, is wrong. Therefore knowing that, Cherry clearly cares a little bit about her image. But where is the outrage when the community is actively holding down and copying her content, putting it all over the internet? There is none. Even knowing her employer could find the videos. Could you imagine that? You're an employer, coming upon your employee telling you if you want to help. Quote, Fill a birthday bell, I'm not repeating it in full length. What would her employer's reaction be like? Well Cherry Fitter won't take the time to think about that knowing her property is re-uploaded on YouTube with well over 435,000 video views. Now apart from the temporary money that may be pulling in, we're going to show you how nightmarish her entire career will get, and already is, with the perverted viewers that check in regularly, and why Cherry Fixer and whoever, should leave right now and never come back, even if, or when you're approaching her age. Now look around you, every creator in the fat unadmiring community never fail to try and make everyone feel sorry for them. We already know they're here for your money and to make you the viewer, believe that they're special. And you're the unfortunate pathetic addict who got pulled into the never-ending chaos. And while being a pawn in the community, being provoked by the creators because they know about your addiction, other members will put out quote, new fat unadmiring content to keep you engaged for your time and money. And here you have stolen property from TikTok, a platform already known to have mature content on it, also being used for belly playing crap. The people a part of the fat admiring community, get on the app, copy the TikTok videos, particularly the ones involving belly play, and then upload them on YouTube. Now clearly one popular creator they've been taking from is Cherry Fixer. Get this, Cherry Fixer won't use a real name, which would tell you the viewer, that she wants to keep what she's doing on the internet, out of the view of whoever she works with. But for how long? Looking up her public name, Cherry Fixer, you can find that her handle is holding over 113 million views. Now, how big is that number? Well, fuck forget about that and get this, it gets even more chaotic and really laughable. Not long ago at all, she put out a photo showing a bug bite on her private area. And told everyone, wouldn't you like to have been that bug? Clearly a cheap manipulative way to pull the young men into her. Are you ready for this? Get ready, her only f Hell you knew she had an account on there, I didn't need to tell you that. And for a brief moment we were on her page before blocking that URL, we got a copy of her legal note. And the final part read, basically that if you put your card info in, you won't have the right to take any of her content. Which you already know no one bothered to follow that rule. After that it read, not complying will come to a legal battle against you. Now clearly anyone under attack for real from this, while well, they would probably throw out the common comeback. Quote, if you go there I'll tell your employer what you do and you'll never work again, good luck feeding your family or however they'll put it. And here we come to the problem for Cherry Fixer and why she should quit making videos all together for the community. Knowing that literally anyone can do that, you already know Cherry Fixer should retire from this never-ending chaotic nightmare. Her content will already be on the internet forever. 
which means, at age 40, 45, 50, 55, and beyond that, she'll be reminded of her deadly sins. Leave that community right now, everyone involved will lose. Watching anything related to Cherry Fixer, you are guaranteed to feel like crap and get nothing out of it. Well, maybe you'll get depression. Maybe. Yeah, not maybe, definitely.